All Fox Bikes Mustang Owners Museum. I mean, look how clean it is, man. 1982 Fox Body Mustang. This is an 82 Mustang. I, it's really hard to believe. Hey! Oh no! They done got me in trouble here, y'all. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and we got another car show for you guys. Check this out. This is actually at the Mustang Owners Museum, but it's a Fox Body show. Fox Body's here, Fox Body's over there. You may have seen that on the channel before. Depends on how long you've been watching but it's a pretty cool hangout. The Mustang Owners Museum, I've been here before, but it's been a little while. All Fox Bikes, except for that one. I think that's definitely not a Fox Body. <laughs> but a pretty good turnout. Just had another one pull up. We're just gonna hang out today, check out the show, maybe talk to a couple owners of the cars, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. Gonna try and walk you around the show a little bit, show you some of the cars here. Some of them you may have seen at the Fox Resto Saturday Swap Meets. We do those as well, but this is a different location. Mustang Owners Museum, and we're gonna go inside too. There's all kinds of cars I'm sure you guys have not seen inside, but let's take a look at what's out here first. Hey, oh no, they done got me in trouble here, y'all. Where's he coming from? <laughs> Look at this, I love this cell phone. This is original. I was just talking to Grabber Cody. I was just talking to him. He's got a YouTube channel too, been on the channel before. You're voting. I mean, it's between this one and, all right, I closed it, I closed it without hurting it, okay? That man's fault if I get in trouble right there. Popular vote. There's a voting thing going on today too, so it's between this one. I don't know, what's he gonna go with? We gotta find out. What's the other one you're looking at? Come on, Jason. So guys, what do you think you should vote for? There's this one, pretty much all original. Looks great. And then we got this, this is not original. So, but this is clean. I mean, look how clean it is, man. You know this one's fun. Even the headers are not, the headers are very clean. Mmm. I mean, it's sitting low. It's, they're, com they're completely different cars. And in this one, it's got the S550 interior? No, seats. What are these seats? It's definitely not a Fox seat, is it? I guess it is. I guess it is because I forget about the smaller headrest. I've got, you know, the big headrest. So I forget about that. I don't know. We'll have to find out what his vote was. Jason, we're, we might be, we'll come back and check and see which way you voted. <laughs> got some Fox parking on the side here. Oh. Here we go, Paxton. These are old school, Novi 2000 Paxton Supercharger, man. All right, and by the way, guys, I did not enter the vote today because we're just hanging out, just having fun, so. Oh, it sure is. Look, it's got the Fox Body Show. It's actually in it. I thought this was a joke. An 82 Mustang is what I'm told is what's underneath here, guys. This is an 82 Mustang. I, it's really hard to believe, but what body's on the outside? You know what body, what is it? What? Zimmer. Zimmer, I never heard of that. Zimmer, okay. There's a boss man right there. All right. He can tell what, you what's... all about it. 1982. Yeah. Fox Body Mustang. <laughs> okay, it didn't it look was, like it. It was. All right. They were bought by Zimmer Motor Company, Car Company in Miami, Florida. And he'd buy them 20, 30 at a time. They'd put them on the car carriers and they'd bring them down to Miami, unload them. They were drivable. Get the key and drive it. Because it has it inside, I mean, everything is all busted. And he calls this bo outside body called Zimmer. Yeah, in 82, this is an 82 model. Yeah. bought 500 made in 82. That was their big production year. Still made today. But now they're like five or six a year. These are still made today. Still made today. But it's on a Cadillac body instead of a Mustang. Okay. But this is actually a Mustang Fox body Fox chassis. Body. Yep. Now, what's the drivetrain? Is that also oh, an 82? Again, or? The cars would come in without a hood, without a thing, and, yeah. and turn the key, and he'd drive them down. 
Okay, they put wow. them in the building like this. Yeah. And they line them up. All right, they make so many fiberglass this and so many fiberglass, and they, yeah. they build them as an assembly line. I haven't seen this before either. Well, no, that's. I mean, this you added this, didn't you? No, 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 no. No. That's, that's on it. That's, that's wow. That's the way it came. And so, what is the it's intention? Just to to cut the wind, or? Well, yeah, they're wind deflectors. It's, yeah. In the 1930s, cars had these. Huh. So you didn't have air conditioning. Right. And you didn't want it to blow your hair. You'd take your hairstyle <laughs> to blow apart. The, the Recaro seats come? The Recaro seats came with it. And look at all these buttons there. I mean, yeah, it's here full. and up and down and back and forth. Does it have a seat heater? Yes. Oh, does. in 1982. 1982. Wow. <laughs> that is crazy. So what's the uh, Golden Spirit? Is that like... That was the model number. Okay, so it's a they, Zephyr they Golden silver, Spirit? Zimmer. Zimmer. Golden Spirit. Not a Zephyr. Not a Zephyr. I said it they wrong. They had What's a silver car? cloud and they <laughs> had the Golden Spirit. The Golden Spirit was the top of the line one. It came okay. with everything you could want on a car. There's a gold wheel, looks like. Yep. Wow. Nardi, Nardi wheel, signed by Nardi. I had never seen anything like this. But yeah, I mean, you can tell the middle, like this is definitely from a Fox body. Yeah. I, I recognize that. Yeah. Wow. The doors, I mean, you know, it's all. It, yeah, you can see in the doors too. It's a solid frame car. Huh. I mean, it's, you know. They don't have to extend the frame or anything, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, they had to do that. What he yeah, because it's so long. It, it's, it's, you can see right where he cut it. He cut it right in here, the front end forward, yeah. by about 14 inches. Wow. And then welded it back together. And I thought at first when somewhat, I saw this car. It's somewhat straight. Yeah. When I first saw this car, I thought it was a joke. I thought yeah. this was, but it's legit. They were, they were real live production cars. Wow. And in 82, he'd buy a car for. Two thousand dollars yeah. direct from Ford, and he sold it for four. <laughs> he was happy to double his money. Nowadays, the same car you can yeah. buy one today. Yeah, they're about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow, the handwork. And you said today they're made on Cadillac bodies. Yeah. So, but I can give you four thousand for this, right? Probably not. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to try. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. The horns up here too. Oh, they all work too. They all work. All four come on. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at these horns. People get out of your way, don't they? I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> maybe before you leave if they let you we might have to hear the horn once before you leave maybe i don't know we don't want to scare anybody though so. all right all right we better not do that then <laughs> wow i think this is my favorite part there goes my buddy mr automotive but the zimmer i had no idea i was gonna see, see a zimmer today guys and he told me he's owned the car about three years i had no idea these existed if you knew they existed let me know in the comments down below but that is that is wild and last thing, he told me this off camera, but the VIN number, the way he registers it is actually a 1982 Mustang. Who would have thought? I, I didn't know. That's probably the coolest thing here. He should win. <laughs> there comes the family. Hey, the stars have arrived. Who is it? Look at this thing. This is our expedition. So oh, Gearhead 704 represents. I was representing. All right. Well, and the guys, by the way, it's not just Tiffany, but we got everybody in and here. The whole crew. Yeah. You want to even a list? Oh man, we got them all. Anyway, just having fun. Figured to bring the family out, spend some time with the kids, getting them through the car show and all that. So, but yeah, we are about to go inside the museum. Let me show you the rest of the cars here. And this one here is cool guys because this car here was one of the first ones on my channel going way back i was just talking to the owner today i'm gonna throw in a little clip from from way back when can't beat the sound on these it's still my favorite sounding car one thing i love about it i mean you can coyote swap it and it's better but i just love the push rod sound you know? <laughs> Go 
But yeah, that was Cars and Coffee. He's here today. Still, still driving. Still looking good. So, this is a cool one to run into again today. And that's his buddy's Cobra, 93 Cobra. Can't go wrong there. I think last time his buddy had a red car and that one sold, but nice to see those guys again. I'm actually in the museum right now. They rotate the cars in here. It's been a while since I've been in here, but they have all kinds of different cars that you'll see about each car. Like this is a 2013 Roush Stage 3. You can see that and you get all the owner information and all that. So we're gonna check out all the cars in here. They were telling me only three of them stay permanently, but got all kinds of different ones. There are a couple Fox bodies in here, but let me just walk through real quick and show you what's actually in the museum. Hey guys, inside the museum now, great turnout today, great event, but I'm actually here with the executive director of the Mustang Owners Museum, Steve, and he's just gonna talk a little bit about what's been going on here at the museum, and let, let me go ahead and turn it over to Steve. So Steve, welcome to the channel, thanks for being here today. Well, we appreciate it, thanks for coming out. Yep. We had a great turnout, lots of Fox bodies, obviously. Yep. And on top of that, we've had a lot of people who obviously are into Fox bodies coming to look at them also, so we had a great engagement that way. Almost every weekend we have an event trying to focus on an aspect or a brand of Mustang. Next weekend happens to be the Mach 1 Boss 302 weekend. So you do get very specific. Yeah. We get very specific because otherwise, sometimes these car shows are so general. Yeah. We feel we have the time, we have the interest to do where we can actually do by generations or we can do it by name badges. Yeah. So uh, we recently did one for pace cars. We've done them for others and we'll continue each month. We also do one for a generation. So. Uh, this is the Fox Body Generation event for, the, for June, and the next month we'll have one for SN95. Oh, cool. We'll do one for Shelby's. So we have a really full schedule, which can all be found on our website, mustangownersmuseum.com. Yep. I'll pop that up on the screen, guys. And you'll see, uh, hit, hit the tab events, and it gives you all the information about the event dates and what's going on. Oh, cool. But we also do a couple other things I think is kind of fun is that, you know, while the, the people that come to the event, uh, it's free for our members. Non-members pay ten dollars. Yeah, which very is, reasonable. Which is actually the same cost if you wanted just to visit the museum. So they get to come to the museum for free, and we throw in a lunch. Yeah. And so this weekend we're having to be Fourth of July. It's hot dogs. Yeah. Nothing better than hot dogs. And no, we don't have apple pie. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. We, we had to ask. So <laughs> our goal with the museum really is to try to engage all Mustangs because the Mustang owners have such a varied interest in Mustangs. Yeah. People are very passionate about Fox bodies. There are people very passionate about Mustang twos. There are. I heard they exist. I wasn't sure. But. Yeah, they're, they're a smaller group. They do feel That's okay. Like, they do feel like Charlie Brown. Yeah. But that the point is, you he caters to them all, guys. You cater yes. to all those, which yeah. is great. We do try to make sure that they all know that this is a place. And we also try then to promote what these clubs or other events are doing so that our, our people who follow us on our website or our Facebook, our email blast, know what other things are going on because we want to support the hobby as a whole, not just this part of North Carolina. Right. It's, it's bigger than that. You can also sign our wall. We have a wall. We're yeah, check that out, guys. Uh, you can sign our wall. Um, again, we just want to have some fun. I mean, we don't want a museum to be, oh boy, it looks like art on the wall. Right. No, I mean, we're car guys. Let's have fun with it. Let's enjoy this. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And like you said, check out the website if you want to see these events. But uh, Steve, I know that I personally am going to come back, but today I think I have to go get the hot dog right now because I haven't eaten. There you so go. let's go do that. Go, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> so like I said, guys, earlier, I got the family here with me. They're walking that way. We just walked all the way through and we got our votes in. Time to vote for the winner. And uh, I tried to steer them all to vote for the Zimmer. So let's see if the Zimmer won. I don't know. Apparently this one got your vote, Tiffany. It did. All right, but tell, tell them why it got your vote because I love I mean, this. I I love Fox Bodies anyway. It's hard for me to choose, but I looked in the back seat. All right. 
Yeah. What's it back there? All right, she voted for it for that guy right there. Yeah. I can't do that. Why'd you do that? So that is the exact little fox that you gave me when we were dating. It was just one of our yeah. monthly anniversary. Not that exact gifts. one, but the same type. Very same type. Yeah. yeah. And so it, it suddenly hit a nostalgic. The fact that and we have a fox had party. your same cell phone basically. It had, yeah, it's the car phone. Like. Yeah. <laughs> So she voted for it because of the fox and the car phone. So that, that'd sell the deal. So there you go. If they win, it's all Tiffany's fault. So one other thing I want to highlight out here, guys, is we do have Serbinator shirts here. The Serbinator, we've got all the different kinds. I'm actually getting help from my buddy Shadow Project over here. But send all these out because you were just telling me, Danny, which ones came from. So this is the truck. This one's obvious. It's yes. the F100. Yep, the new Edge. New Edge. And these are all Serbinator spoilers in case you're missing it, which is cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. That's one I said. This is your car. This is the actual car. Right. So here's the actual car that that one's based off of, which is, you know, I mean, it's bad. But anyway, I think I have to bleep that. <laughs> and then this is the old ODB Capri. Yes. The Capri, which uh, it, it's also for, you know, just a Fox body hatch. Basically. Or AKA Ben the Destroyer. Yes. So. <laughs> and the, they, you guys know that one very well on the channel. And then I'm also wearing one. This is what the front looks like. Let me just hand this over to Danny and then we'll turn around. But yeah, you get the front. Serbinator, and then the back, I've got, of course, the convertible because that's what I have. So that's why I'm wearing this one. But yes, the Serbinators are a good buddy. He makes these spoilers, in case you didn't know, he makes the spoilers. Why, why do I point it out there? He makes these spoilers right here, and you can also buy shirts. So anyway, they're doing the awards over there. Wanted to give a quick shout out to him, and uh, be sure if you want to see S197 content, follow that guy on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Danny. Anytime. All right, guys, so there you go. Another great hangout, great time here at Mustang Owners Museum. Like he said, if you're into Mustangs, they do more than just Fox Bodies. I know most of you people are Fox Body, probably enthusiasts like me. But uh, yeah, maybe there's other events you want to bring your Mustang out to, check them out. But the big thing for me, guys, was the Zimmer. Never heard of it before, never saw it before. Hopefully it'll win. Maybe I'll let you know down in the comments below. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, hang out more with the family, just have a good time. This is like the first car show all the kids have came to as well. So we've been having a great time. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can count on that consistent content. And we'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. Calypso, I was talking to the owner of this car as well. Said he's owned it 24 years. Oh, I'm upside down. Uh, be like that. Guys, I'm actually, I'm actually, actually, what's it, actually? <laughs> I don't need my sunglasses in here. <laughs> Guys, what's this? No! NOS! What's that? NOS! 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 <laughs>